Hey kids, what time is it? That's right, it's Kids Zone O'Clock. Pastor Adam here, and I am so excited that you are with us today. We're gonna open this mystery box and see what's inside. We're gonna do a craft with Miss Catherine, and we're gonna sing a song with Mr. Logan. I'm just excited that you're joining us. And listen, we're gonna have so much fun today. You might even wanna invite your parents to come and join you during this time. Well, the thing that we love doing is opening this mystery box. And if you haven't put something in a mystery box yet, let us know. We'd love to have some more friends drop something in this box so that we can make a little message out of it. Uh, our friend Mary Michael put something in the box this week, and it's, it doesn't move much. It's big. I don't, I don't know what it is. What do you think it is? Hey, everybody. We are out here at the campground at the last October gathering, and it turns out we're going to get our mystery box item here today. Yay! Miss Kim, where are we going? Who lives out here? Well, we're going to the Mary Martha cabin, I believe. Is that it? Excellent. And we're going to have Mary Michael Bahunen. Oh, how fun. I can't wait to see what she or puts in. Hermione. Hermione, yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay, here we go. We are at the Mary Martha cabin out here at the campground. Farmer Kim is going <laughs> to um, go knock on the door and see what we can get. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Knock, knock. Hi. Who is it? Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Well, I mean, oh, Hermione. Hermione, okay. Hermione okay. has something for us. What have you got? What you got for us? Oh my goodness. Interesting. I wonder if we're related. Well, look, I, we're gonna have to do a video of you. <laughs> Oh, get him in there, get him in there. Oh, that's so good. I'll play with the top later. Awesome. We might have to we might have to sit on the box. Hermione slash Mary Michael. Why did you pick said mine? Because maybe they'll talk about the story where they put him in the lion's den. The lion's den? Oh, that's a great story. Oh, I like that story. Daniel in the lion's den, always a good one. That's perfect. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Mary Michael. I mean, Hermione. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to watch on Sunday and see what he says. Okay? All right. Thank you, Mary Michael. Thank you. All right. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, wow. It is a lion. I think it's Simba, or it could be, uh, what's the, the Simba's kid now is, uh, has a Disney show, and I can't remember his name, but I think this one's Simba, and I just want to be like, but I'm going to refrain from doing that. I love having a lion in this box, because I don't know if you know this, but lions show up a number of times in the Bible. But probably the most famous is with a guy named Daniel. He gets thrown into a lion's den for his faith. He, he, he gets tossed in there, and do you know what God does? God protects him from the lions. I, I, I would love to see this, right? So uh, this lion's den was used and, and it's how they would get rid of people that they didn't want around and they'd toss them in there and the lions, of course, would, would eat them. And so they, they throw Daniel in the lion's den and nothing happens. I'm sure all the people are like, what, what's going on? Daniel's in there just hanging out with the lions. He's got some like cats around. They're just, I, I don't know. I don't know what the picture is, but I, I just can't imagine that moment. How God's goodness would have shown through. Now, I don't recommend you jump into a pit with lions to prove your faithfulness to God. But I do recommend that, that you show your faithfulness in small, meaningful ways every day. It could be just saying a prayer. It could be saying a kind word to a friend. It could be just sharing something that you have with a neighbor or somebody in need. So this week, be brave like Daniel and be faithful to God God will be with you no matter what, no matter where you are. Let's pray together. God, thank you that you are faithful to us and you invite us to be faithful to you. Let us be brave enough to pray a prayer, to share a kind word, 
to share out of what we have, to be brave like Daniel in that lion's den. Because God, we know that you are good and you love us. And you will go with us no matter what happens. God, we thank you for your presence every day. Amen. All right, kids. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to, um, I'm probably going to take this lion with me all day. Is that okay with you, Mary Michael? You good with that? If I just hang on to this? Okay. I'm going to hold the lion hostage. Is that all right? All right. We're, we're probably just going to be lying around. <laughs> y'all welcome to kids zone o'clock and i am not miss Catherine, but today uh, we have crafts with jen so y'all my name is miss jen and i work uh, in youth ministry so i work with all of the big kids so sixth grade through 12th um and so today miss Catherine asked me to help you guys with a craft and i am so excited i have been having so much fun to do a craft with pipe cleaners. So if you have any pipe cleaners at your house, go grab some. Or if you don't have any today, that's okay. You can always um, grab some another day when you're at the dollar store and pick some up. Or just get creative and we're going to learn how to make some animals today. Um, so if you don't have any pipe cleaners, just figure out how to draw some animals. I have a lot of these black pipe cleaners. So today we are going to start by making a stingray. So this is my little stingray I made earlier, and I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So I'm going to take a couple of these, I think like five or six, and I'm just going to link them together. So if you've ever used pipe cleaners before, you know, you just kind of put these little two ends together, twist them around, and they've got that wire in them, so they just stick together super easy. And you could do this with any kind of pipe cleaner. You could have, have some sparkly ones. You could have a sparkly stingray, or you could have a blue stingray. It doesn't have to be any color. I just have a lot of black um, pipe cleaners, so that's what we're using. So follow your heart, grab whatever color, or you could have you could have a multicolored one. That one would be pretty cool. Okay, so once you have your string of these together, you know what, I'm feeling it, we're gonna put on one more. So I think I have one, two, three, four or five, but honestly, you could probably do this if you even had three of them. It'll just not be quite as thick. So what you're gonna do is once you have this, you are going to make this shape for your stingray. So we're gonna make kind of a square shape. Maybe a little bit different, but. So we're gonna make these pieces. Now I'll make them a little bit bigger than my other one. And this last little piece, you are going to push together so that way you have this. All right, makes sense? And then you've got your big log and string down here. So then this part, we are going to let it be about this long or so, and we are going to wrap it back up. So this is gonna become the tail of our stingray. Let's just kind of twist it around. There we go. So now all we're going to do is we're going to fill in this space so it's not open. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaners, just kind of bend it around our square that we made earlier. I'm going to go in one direction and then I'm going to kind of swap and go in the other. We'll kind of crisscross. And again, if you only have like two or three pipe cleaners, you can still do this. It just might not be as solid of a stingray. And if you only have a couple on your, your strand, but you want to add more, you totally can. I'm so excited to see your guys' pictures later. You'll have to send them in to us. All right, so I'm just going to keep twisting around. Maybe I'll add just one more. The bigger that you make your square to start with, the more of these that you'll need to kind of fill in and make it nice and solid. Okay, almost done. All right, so again, we're just gonna kind of keep going around. And there we go, that one is looking pretty good. I can't see through it too much anymore. Put as many on there as you want. You can kind of push them around to get it to look just the way that you want it to. And kind of weave them in there. OK, 
Okay, so that's what mine looks like right now. All right, so then I'm gonna kind of twist this little tail around. So I love for all of my stingers and my animals that I make with pipe cleaners to have like some little eyes and a nose, but you could put like googly eyes on here if you wanna glue it on. Just grab some glue and kind of hot, or glue a couple of those right there on the top. Or if you want to get help, you could always uh, get a parent to help you and use some hot glue, but you don't want to use that on your own. But if you don't have um, some googly eyes, which I do not, but you know what I do have? I have more pipe cleaners. So I'm going to take this fun gold sparkly one that I have and I'm just going to cut some little pieces right off. All right, so I'm going to cut off two pieces. You can use whatever color you want to. They can be two different colors, and then I'm going to just kind of bend them in half, just like that. Just gonna bend these little guys in half, and I'm gonna stick these in, and these are gonna be our eyes. So, I'm gonna stick one in right here, and another pipe cleaner, just kind of make them so they don't wanna move around wherever you think the eyes should go. Follow your heart. There we go. So these are where my eyes are going to be. They can be any color that you want to. So here's our stingray. How cute is he? Oh my goodness, I love it. With his little gold sparkly eyes, very, very fun. So you can make all kinds of animals. I want you guys to experiment today. So I played around earlier and I'm very proud of this one. This one was a lot harder to make, but it was fun. So I kind of made a dinosaur. So he's super cute. Just kind of had a big, a big coil for the body and then just kind of shaped the neck and then put on a couple legs. I also made, now I didn't quite have enough brown, but I made a little turtle. And then I tried to make a second one, but I only had black and he looks a little bit more like a spider. But here's my little turtle that I made. And I have a lot of this gold sparkly, and so this is supposed to kind of be a mouse, but you might have to use your uh, imagination a little bit. Maybe it looks a little bit more like a cat. I haven't decided, but here's my mouse I made. And again, all I used was some scissors to cut apart the uh, pipe cleaners and the pipe cleaners themselves. But again, you can glue some pieces on there. You can get as creative as you want to. So I cannot wait to see the pictures. Get your parent to post it or send it to us so we can see what sort of animals you made today. Awesome, y'all. Well, this has been craft, craft Time with Jen, and I hope that you had a good time, and I will see you again next week. Bye.
can shout the Lord Almighty. Who can shout the Lord Almighty? 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 For the lion and the lamb, oh, every knee will bow.